Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today going to share a few good things with you guys. Although I only used them a couple of times, but I find they are really good. They are very surprisingly good. Hence, I can't wait to share with you. Start with concealer pen. Is it called concealer pen? It's from Timage. So first of all, you have a look the cap. It has a sharpener that included. Therefore, if the tip is not like pointed enough, then you can sharp it. I have two colors. One is let me quickly read out. 02 and 1 is 01. This is 01, this is 02. So 02 is a slightly darker. So it has more brown or orange undertone and 01 is more for highlighting purpose. I am very impressed by 01 the most because for highlighting purposes, especially for your smile lines, eye bags, you need something to be very precise. And the pen in this shape can really, really help you. And the formulation, it is quite interesting that it's like a lip liner, but towards dry lip liner, that type of texture. But amazing that this doesn't cause creases. It doesn't sink into your lines, it just melts onto your skin. And the most importantly that this is very good coverage. If you're after a flawless finish, you need something like this. I don't think you guys can buy Timage outside of China, but you can definitely source some concealer pen like this. I would recommend to definitely test out the texture because you don't want it too creamy, which means it may not last long. And same time, you don't want it too dry to cause any creases or sink into your lines. This is, oh, it's just perfect formulation and uh, let me just quickly try this for you uh zero one right so all i do is you see they glide on so easily now all you do just use your finger or sometimes i use a brush this is also from Timid. It is actually their concealer brush. Just gently sweep over. So easy to use. And this is such a good idea that work with people like us who's not that professional. And they need something, you know, easy to handle, effective, doesn't need too much technique. Then that's it. That's all you need to do. And for the other color, 02, is very good for pinpoint down those sport marks. But before that, I want to I want to introduce you to another concealer, which is this one. This is so popular, it's, it is a Korean brand called red concealer from Maddie Cube. Apparently it has SPF 30 and the PA2 plus and the design is very interesting. It's like a needle you squeeze from the back and the product come out from the top. And when you want to squeeze there is a little lock. Let me show you a little lock over here. All you need to do is twist and then squeeze. From the formulations perspective, as you guys can tell, it is thicker than liquid concealer, but it is much lighter than creamed concealer. This is a very good coverage as well. If you have the whole area having troubles with acne marks or spot marks, this is perfect. So I normally do is just get a concealer brush. Then I just don't worry about the messy on the 
top, you can just wipe it off later. I strangely got some blues there, which I have no idea where it's come from. Let me show you. It's over here. So I purposely use a light foundation and I only put one layer on to not cover too much. Do bear with it. I try to be precise as I'm holding looking at the camera's screen. Can you see? This works very well when you have troubles like this, like the whole area. You can't really cover individual spot marks, acne, you know, every single time. You can just easily use some concealer like this. For example, like the top, it's a little bit dirty, right? Then you just use a, I just use a makeup removal wipe, or you can just use a tissue. Clean and dandy, and if you put it in the bag, you just put it in lock again. So you can't press it out. It's very friendly for traveling as well. I was absolutely amazed even by the first time I was using this, and this also lasts long. It lasts longer than the Ipsa palette. Uh, Ipsa palette is in my favorites as well. That one suits myself very well, but if you don't set it properly, it will still start disappearing after like five, six hours. But this, once you set with powder, it pretty much no moves. This is mm, very good concealer. That's why it's so popular in China. The formulation is very creamy, which leads you not to believe that this actually has a very good coverage. So if you be able to buy this Magic Cube, have a look on Amazon. Are definitely worth to try. If you suffer from acne around your face, highly, highly recommend. And then when it's come to the individual spot mark, I go back to the timage one. It's, oh, it's just so great. Let me zoom you in. Can you guys see the two marks over here? I'm using color 02, which is slightly darker. I didn't edit this part, yeah? I'm only fast forwarding, so can you see the miracle of it? Okay, here's another one. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it not a miracle? I'm just so happy that I bought this. Since I had this, I don't need to worry about those small marks like this anymore. And it's so easy to use. The formulation, it is drier than the cream concealer, but doesn't cause creases. So when you use in the area that you are this precise, it's instantly dry and gripped onto your skin. So you don't need the blending techniques. You know when we use concealer palette, even with the smallest brush you ever use for concealer, you still dot it here. You still need to pat it with your finger or you know smudge out the edges with a tiny small brush. If you haven't got it right, sometimes you just feel whatever you cover that it start appear again. But when you have some concealer pan like this, oh, it's just so amazing. Especially, you know, if you need to go for a event, you need to have a little bit more, you know, attention to details or more towards flawless look. You need something like this. Oh, as you can see my camera clearly here. It's just a beautiful face and eyes palette. The, the color 
design is just it's really really nice and in here one is a cream blush and one is a highlighter let me show you these swatches first as we know natasha's denona's powder based products oh if they say they're number two i don't know who's number one you maybe say huda oh well I think it depends on your own preference, but the Natasha Denona, in my heart, they just got better, even better. The cream blush, the uh, formulation and the uh, pigmentation, it is really good. Because original, when first time I used it, I was like, oh, Natasha Denona has got to be very light handed. But the one I tried it is it just about right pigment. So this is the blush, this is the highlighter. I did a few swatches here, yeah, to get the color really show. And look at the highlighter. Isn't it pretty? Although I do prefer a natural skin reflect highlighter, but this highlighter, if you light hand it, oh, it reflects beautifully on your face. Then let me show you the eyeshadows. There's five eyeshadows. Oh, oh dear. I love doing Natasha Denona's swatch. It's just so easy. And have a look, this is shimmer color. And this. They look similar, but this has a slightly darker undertone. And this is my favorite favorite color her palette this time is just to put the function of each eyeshadow so for example like transition into corner out corner and this says smoky here so but this is a beautiful nude smoky paddle color this is absolutely on my taste on the palette itself, it already kind of tells you where you use what color. Um, the first one says into corner, transition, uh, crease, out corner, and smoke. And today we try to follow the order. Firstly, I'm going to use this beautiful transition color. With Natasha Denona's one, it's still, you know, the less is more, you rather build up. For me, when I use Natasha Denona's palette, I normally pat the color first. Into the area I like, and then start blending. I find this way that I can really avoid getting the color too strong at once. If I need more, then I build up more. I use this transition color just to layer all over the eyelid and just go in connecting with the nose. I think I want to build a slightly more towards out corner then just pat a little bit in the out corner. As you can see, the color comes out right away. Now I use a slightly smaller brush, dip into the same transition color um, for the under eye area, starting from the out corner. Again, pat the color first, then start smudging it. Dip back in, then build up as you go. Then make sure the joint area is well Smudge it as well, blend it well. I extend this color slightly down. So today is slightly emphasized a little bit more for the under eye area. Like that. 
and you can see this color because it has good level of smokiness in in there. It doesn't make your eyes look puffy. Instead, it's actually kind of help to shading it down. Then dip into this crease color. Then apply this from out corner. Up a little bit, just above my double eyelid. So that add the definition over here. Then extend, follow by the double eyelid line. Just to do the swip motion like this. Now add a little bit from the inner corner upwards. And then just use the previous blending brush just to smudge it out. Make sure there is no harsh lines. This color just add once. You already see the dimension there. Use the same crease color for the under eye, but I will only do out corner towards the end of the eyeball. Then dip into the inner corner, this lovely shimmer color. You can use your finger to get more intense result, but uh, uh, as I'm still more after a natural eye look, so I'm just going to use a brush instead. Can you see? Now I apply a little bit over here. And then I dip into the out corner, which is a slightly darker shimmer color to use from here. Extend upwards a little bit, then extend towards our corner. Then I use a more pointed brush, dip into the inner corner, then just apply just under the eyeball. Then dip into the darkest color, only apply this for the out corner. The little triangle at the back. Same for the joint area. If you feel it's not smooth enough, then just use the blending brush just to blend out the edges. It is very nice, isn't it? And natural, neutral, enough. You just need to make sure you're light-handed, build up as you go. Move on to liquid eyeliner from Little Alding. I bought the two color. I think one is dark brown and one is like a smoky brown something. The reason I bought this and the reason I like this is not because it is a such good eyeliner for wing out the purpose. Let me explain. So that's the two color. Oh, actually I bought the black, sorry, black and the brown. The product itself, it is good. Like today, the eyeliner wing out I used Little Aldi. Uh, it is easy to use. It does not smudge out on my eye lights, but there is nothing really outstanding from that perspective. However, <laughs> Recently, it is another such a fashion of jaw fake lashes for the bottom lash. And I tried that so many times. 
matter. It's just a disaster, absolutely a disaster on my eyes until I use the little outing one. Let me show you. I would do this eyes, then without doing this, then you guys can see the difference. I think I didn't make too well today. <laughs> I don't know why, but let me try again. It was very easy to use before. I've been using this this a few days. Although it wasn't that successful. <laughs> it's really not a good example, but when you look at the tip, let's compare with normal. A liquid eyeliner. Let me take Maybelline's out. Then you compare with Little Aldi. You can tell that Little Aldi, the tip is the shortest. Therefore, when you draw the fake lashes by using liquid eyeliner, the shorter it is, the more steady it is for you to draw the line. Although I didn't well prove it. But it does work. It does work because I use the so many different liquid eyeliner try to achieve that result. Every time I want I draw the line, it just go very squeaky. It just like you, I can't really get like fake lash on that. But this at least you know you can see it's individual lines. It, it doesn't look too shaky. Let's put it that way. You do need a bit of practice to get perfect. You know fake. Lashes, but at least so far I find that this is the best the liquid eyeliner to do that. Now it looks better when you apply the mascara for the bottom lash. It helps you visually feel like volumized your bottom lash. I need more practice. I need more practice. So let's put the blush on. I'm going to use the blush from the Natasha Denona's palette. Although it's a cream blush, but I just use same. Brush, dip it in. I use after powder. There is no problem. It's such a beautiful color. When you light hand it, don't put too much. It is very natural. Feel like you know the healthy glow from inside out. The healthy color of your skin from inside out. And I extend a little bit. Like doing a C motion like this, you just to make the whole look like all in one, like the color combined with each other better. Then for the highlighter, I'm going to use a fan shaped、uh, brush as I don't want it too intense. Can you guys see it over here? Ooh, it is beautiful, very beautiful.、Uh, although it's a beautiful highlighter, but I need to mention. Uh, it is still emphasize your skin condition. Just bear that in mind. As you see, I have fine lines here. Can you guys see? It is not like a hourglass or a Laura Mercier's highlighter that not emphasize the skin condition. This one, although it's a beautiful color, beautiful champagne color, but it does just bear that in mind. There's a whole palette. There is no kind of weird colors or too bright colors that you can use on daily basis. As we all know, Natasha Denona is a little bit pricey, but I think for this palette, let me just get the name. I'm not sure whether it's a new palette for 2022. It's called Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. Mine is color light, so if you want to try Natasha Denona and you want to get your money worth, highly recommend to try out this palette. Then come to the lip product. This time I bought a new Nars lipstick, and the color's name I don't really know how to pronounce. Tolady, Tolady. Let 
This time I only bought a small sample. I said I have so many lipsticks. In case I don't like this color, then you know, it's not gonna be a huge waste, I put that way. But I should get the full size because this is a beautiful color. Look. It is daily wearable, have lovely good amount of coral undertone, but with like a smoky petal color. Mix it in. It's so nice. Absolutely so nice. Don't you think? Don't you think? This is such a daily wearable and very, very lady styled color. Because it has good balance of coral petal color mixed together, therefore it suits a lot of makeup. So even you wear earthy color, more petal color, more purpley color, this color, this lip color would go with all of them. And Nars's lipstick quality is really good this is not like fully cream finish although you see a good reflection but i would describe it as more like satin finish it's very very comfortable to wear whole day and this time i'm bloody regret that i only bought a sample i think after i use this one i'm going to purchase a full size of it this color so juicy, so pretty. You know, after today's video, I don't know whether I should even do a February favorite. I think you already can guess what's going to be my favorite. Thank you so much for finishing today's video with me. It's so lovely to hang out with you guys. If you like today's video, don't forget to click the like button and most importantly, to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you on my next one.